Let us now sketch a graph of an ellipse. In graphing ellipses, we need those important details. Number one, we need to know its orientation or position. Number two, we need to determine the vertices, the covertices, the foci, and even the center itself. For items one and two for this practice exercise here, we already have solved the mentioned uh, details in the previous practice exercises. Please try to review the video as you're going to learn how are, were they uh, were how were they able to how we were able to solve them. Let me just try to copy it here so that our goal is just graphing and we will just focus on number three later. For number uh, one, it is actually a horizontal horizontal ellipse centered at zero zero. And we have the foci, I mean the vertices first. The vertices, okay, already given with the formula, uh, we actually already solved it in the previous video. Two and zero, this is your vertex number one. We have we are at uh, two and zero. And then your vertex two is at negative two, zero. And then you have you have co vertices, okay, co. That's not COVID. Don't be worry about that one. Our co vertices is at zero and one. That's your first co vertices, and your co vertices number two is at zero. Let me try to increase its spaces here. Okay, zero negative one. Again, you may want to review uh, the previous uh, videos for this to help you. And finally, the focus, focus number one is at a square root of three. Uh, I'm just going to write it here. We have square root of three and zero. And the focus number two is at negative square root of three and zero. Well, square root of three is more or less equal to a value of 1.73, okay? So we have 1.73, now this would become negative 1.73, so that when we graph later, we would know its position. So let's try to graph it here. All right, okay. This is the graph for the first. Uh, let's move this a little bit closer since I already have solved this in the previous practice exercise. Again, you may please try to review the uh, mentioned video as to where or how did we get these items here. So the center, let's use the color green, is at zero, zero. All right. And then the vertices, let's use red, two, one, two, zero. Oh, it's very short. Let's make this, uh, this would be uh, to make it bigger. Let's have this as one and you have two. So by four steps, okay? Let me uh, edit this by four steps. So that we could also play, plot our 1.73 for our focus. And then one and then two. So it's horizontal. Our... Uh, Center is at zero, zero. So our vertices at two, this here, and then negative two, zero. Right? By the way, if you would like to, you have to place it here vertex zero, zero. So for this, you have your vertex number. I oh, sorry, this is center. Pardon, center. A while, let me repeat. It is center at zero, zero, okay? And then red here, we have vertex, you have at two, zero, and other vertex here at negative two, and then zero, okay? And then your co-vertices at zero, one. So let me use a blue 
here and here. Oh, sorry. At the bottom, I need to have one more step here. Sorry, it should be red. Pardon. This is where one is and one, two, three, four. I need to place it here. So one, two, three, four, one, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Earlier, I made mention that uh, four steps for each uh, point, uh, for each unit here. And then that's already our co-vertices at, uh, co at 1, 0. And you have here another co-vertices co CV at negative 1, 0. And finally, for your focus, 1.73. So if it, this is 1, 1.25, 1 1.5. So it's more or less here. And this is also your focus on the other side as well. So this is your focus, uh, square root of 3 is 0. And you have here another focus, negative square root of 3 and then 0. Because it's almost 1.75. Now this is now, these are now your points. And then let's input a graph, probably a brown colored ellipse. Let's try to come up with a better version for this for a while. It should pass through the vertices. Yon. So it passes through the vertices and co-vertices, and it's really horizontal for item number one. Okay? So this is the graph for item number one. This is the ellipse formed with these details. Going to that for number two, we also have solved already the values or necessary values for this in our previous practice exercise. This is a vertical position, uh, vertically. Okay, you may want to review the video. The center is still at the origin. The vertices are at zero three, and then that's your vertex number one. Or you could just interchange them, nevertheless. And vertex number two is at zero and negative three. Okay. Your co-vertices are actually placed at square root of two. So you have co-vertices. I'm going to draw it here. Okay. I don't have any square root symbol. Square root of two, zero. And then your co-vertices, second co-vertex rather. Is negative to zero. Okay. And finally, for your focus, your focus is at zero. This is focus number one, square root of seven. And then the focus number two is zero, negative square root of seven. Let me cut down the same graph uh, here so it'll be closer i'm oh, sorry for that okay again take out the it's vertical let's see if it's really a vertical uh ellipse so let's start with center at zero zero still center zero zero Okay, center at zero, zero. And let's make it, since uh, the value for square root of 2 is more or less 1.42 or 1.44. I want for 41 rather. This is 1.41. And the square root of 7 is also something that we could actually use as 2.65. 2.65. So it's 3. Let's use here by 3. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so that we could see our graph. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So 3 counts will become 3. Okay, and here and here as well. So that's our center. And our vertex is at 0 and 3. Okay, and then 0 and 3 here as well. Okay. So probably it will be better like this. I sorry. Yeah, that's vertices. 
Our co vertices, I'm calling it blue, 1.41. So 1, so more or less here, almost 1.5. Okay. And then for our focus, which is colored pink, I'm, I will be having it as 0, 2.65. So 1, 2, so more or less here. Because that's 66, 7. 667. Okay. Uh, you may note all of your points. Uh, this is your zero vertex at zero three. You have here zero negative three. That's another vertex. Sorry. For your uh, co vertices, you have here uh, co vertices. This is squared negative. Sorry, square root of 2 and 0. And this for second covert, it says that's positive square root of 2 and 0. And for your foci, you will have here 0 square root of 7. And you have here another foci, 0 negative square root of 7. Okay? So let's have the graph. Let's have it as a brown. And the ellipse should be like this. Okay. It should pass through the co-vertices and the vertices. As you can see, we have here the points, co-vertices, and then we have the vertices as well. So this is our ellipse for number two. This is how we graph our ellipses with the use of the details that we have solved in the previous videos. As for the last item here, we have not mentioned or solved any of the details yet. So I'm going to provide another video so that we will not have a longer period, a uh, longer uh, video for this. So I'm going to provide, provide another video is just explaining for solving the details of number three and plotting them in our Cartesian plane. See ya.